Hello friends, welcome to Sidecan at Excel Easy Tech tutorial. Today we are going to learn basics on how to do calculation on Excel. If you are new to this channel, you can kindly subscribe and don't forget to share the link as well. And also you can drop your comments down the comment box. These are the functions we shall be looking at today on how to calculate for the product sum, difference, average, the minimum value and the maximum value. First to look at the product. I can drag the product over here to tell that we are calculating for the product. Now how to calculate for this product? We have I'm going to show you two basic methods on how to calculate the which are very very easy that you can easily remember them. In Excel calculation the primary thing that you should know is whenever you want to type in a formula you introduced the equal to sign in that particular cell. Now I want to calculate for this quantity of January sales and that of its price in this particular cell in cell G3 in this particular cell here I want to calculate for the quantity and the price for January so I will click there and I will press the equal to sign so I will click on the cell under the quantity that is for 4 and uh, I will strike the hash key or the multiplication key times its price then I strike the enter sign now I have got 400 as the total amount I can auto fill this to get the total of all of these sales from February downwards to December how to do this take the cursor to this point at this junction you can see a tiny hole like it is indicated there if you take the cursor closer you can you can see the shape of the cursor so from that point you double click and drag down so you see you have automatically calculated for all of these sales the second method we enter the equal to sign as I said we go for some product some product now some product is going for a huge calculation whatever it might take even if you have 10 20 30 cells to calculate you introduce the sum product and I highlight all of those cells that you want to calculate for it will automatically give you the answer likewise for the initial method I shown you can as well do that step by step highlighting each and every cell that you want to multiply it and by so you strike the enter key you've calculated for that particular product or cells that you are trying to do now we want to do for the sales for January and its price. We strike quantity, comma, and its price. This is the argument. If you can see closer here, you see the array one, comma, the array two. The array two is for the price. Even if you have more than, you can see the on to sign here even if you have more than this you can continue to alight all of those cells and strike the enter key it will automatically give you the answer so we close this parenthesis and that uh, we strike the enter key it gives us 400 you do for the same to autofill in order for you to get all of those total for january onto december Okay, now we look at the sum. The sum of all these total. The sum of all these values. How to calculate for the sum? 
I will as well um, introduce two method to calculate for this particular cell. You can say three method. The first one will be the manual. We enter the equal to sign. We start by adding. So click the first cell. Strike the plus sign. The second cell, the plus sign. Third cell. And so on. Then I strike the enter key. By doing this, I've got the total for all of these. So this is the sum total of all of these. Now the second method. How to do for the second method? We strike the equal to sign and we type sum as it is given. The sum of all these. We align all these rules. And we close the parentheses. It's giving you G3 and G14. G3 column G14. G3, this is the G column. 3 is from this rule, meaning G3 to G14, to this part. And we are calculating from this part to this section here. Calculating for this. From G3 to G14. So if we enter, we have the same answer. The third method is by alighting this whole cell and we go to the home tab we drop down this arrow here we have the auto sum and we strike we click on the sum this sigma sign we click on the sum automatically we've got our answer wow now let's look at the other aspect of it that's the difference let's look at the difference Consider this second table here. Now, if we say we want to calculate, we want to know the difference of January sales and February sales, what to do? This would be an easy one. We as well click enter the equal to sign. We alight the first one. We subtract from this second one and we we'll strike the enter key. It gives us 10 so we can autofill by dragging from here onto the last point here and it will give you the exact answer that you want we go to the average average of what we can find the average of the price from here to here or we can find the average of the total amount as well or even the average of the quantity in either of these we can find the average we want to find the average of this quantity what to do we can calculate the average for quantity by striking the equal to sign and type average and type average okay we select the entire column we close the parentheses and we'll strike the enter key this also you can auto fill for all of the order for price and total but to fill for price and total we we have got the average for the price and average for the total amount now we go to the minimum how to calculate the minimum range calculating the minimum value of the quantity the price and the total what to do we enter the equal to sign so type equal to minimum min the minimum of what of this column let's try the enter so the minimum is one one is the minimum for november sales we get one as the minimum if we autofill get 100 for the price as the minimum for January and we get 170 as the minimum for November I think so November yeah and how to get the maximum we 
also strike the equal to sign max for maximum open the parentheses we also alight the quantity column we close the parentheses and strike the enter key the maximum is 8 the biggest number in this column if you can find is 8 that's for missiles you can autofill by dragging this from here to there so 300 as the minimum as the maximum value for the price or the maximum amount for the price 1440 as the maximum amount for the total and uh, you can as well get this maximum here from this auto sum we have the maximum the minimum and the average you can as well do the same thing and even the sum is here as we did in our first example for sum if we click on this entire cell we can get the average down these sheets as average to be 4.5833 average to be 4.5 even without calculating for average for minimum or for maximum you can automatically get the average for that particular quantity and its sum as well now say count count what they are counting these cells how many cells we have numbers in we have 12 of them if you calculate from january to december we know there are 12 months so we have 12 of these items here the sum the sum is 55 if we calculate for the sum as i shown you initially we can get 55 as it is given there now for this let's check for this price the price the average for the price is 173.33 that we've got the average here and 12 as the number of cells sum is 2080 if we calculate the sum for this we can as well get that answer 2080 and you do for the rest you can as well do as much as you can once you click on that particular column it will give you its average the sum the number of cells that that column occupy and you can as well calculate the minimum and the maximum value it is very easy to do you can try this and whatever comments you can drop it on the comment box thank you very much for subscribing to this channel please try to share this link and if you have not yet subscribed to this channel make sure you do it and